everyone. My gosh. How about this? I know how to book a guest. I'll yes, you, you do. And, and you are killing it out here. Oh, I'm having a ball. Yes? Yeah, it might you be a hostile born to takeover. Do this. We'll see, yeah. No. Um, look, this all started, and this is so surreal, but I, I was such a fan of Mr. Robot, I basically emailed you and I was serial texting you, I was trying to FaceTime you and you didn't let me weird you out and now we're friends. No, well, I couldn't even believe it was you. For a second, I got the email from Robert and I thought, okay, somebody's playing tricks on me. And then they came, kept coming and they were so witty. They were, <laughs> they were. I hired writers. Point. No, no, yeah, <laughs> that I thought it could be no one else but you. And uh, this, this friendship has continued. He came to visit me on set. I couldn't believe that. Oh, that was so cool. Filming. Any Mr. Robot fans here? Oh. You damn betcha. And then the crazy thing is it ended December. Yes. Yeah. I yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You got some feelings about it? Yeah, man. I mean, I remember calling you for, uh, uh, over the phone. We were talking about Avengers ending yeah. as well. And you're like, well, it's, it may take a while before it hits you. And, and I, said, I this... said, take some stuff. Yeah. Did you take some stuff? Yes. Oh, great. You mean a vacation? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you know, any wardrobe? I mean, yeah. you know, I mean. Uh, I took the hoodie. You gotta I take took, the hoodie. I, yeah, I, I, I started collecting more of these things. I used to not try to just leave it behind. And yeah. now I'm like, I want some of the Freddy things. I want some of the Mr. Robot things. I yeah. took my hoodie home that's all tattered, and uh, I, I just put it in storage with my mom, and like a good mom, she- Your mom's in storage? Well, she's in storage. Let's get her out. She lives in storage, and she's she just, can... <laughs> she just sewing things up. She sewed up my hoodie, she's and so she repaired cool. the whole thing. I'm like, no, mom. Oh, no! Oh, no. But that's that what moms the, that's do. What moms they do. They fix so everything. Lovely. I mean, so then she started to rip it back apart, which is kind of cute. Oh, boy. I mean, honestly, I 2019 has been such a, huge year for you. Um, I know you're really close with your family, and then they must be so proud. I mean, you won an Oscar, dude. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> it's remarkable, man. I still, uh, I still am soaking in every second of it. Uh, let's tell folks about Doolittle a, a bit. Yes. How would you uh, describe it? Oh, man. It, well, I just went to the premiere with you. Yes. And your lovely other half, Susan. Oh, Susan. Who produced it. Yes. Who I spent so much time working with on this film. And uh, it was so lovely to see it up there on the big screen, because you'll be doing the voices. You never can quite anticipate what it's going to be like. And it is yes. a truly moving, extraordinary experience. It's, oh, it's an adventure. You deliver a phenomenal performance. The whole oh. cast does. But I have to say, sitting there with kids, they were glued to that screen. Oh, and man. And I have to say, by the end of it, I felt as though the entire cinema was uh, pretty teary-eyed. It, it got very yeah, emotional. Yeah, I think we got them. Well, I we got them. I can't you thank you enough. Did, did I ask yes, you, you directly? Did, did Susan call you? You called me. I did, right? Yeah. It's the only, I mean, of course, this usually goes through a number of agents and whatnot, but when RDJ RDJ's calls calling. you, it's like, yeah. And then sure, everybody should know, you it. did all the, the, all the, the voice, obviously, but all the gorilla sounds, it's all 100% Rami, right? Is it 100%? Um, yeah. Wow. That's impressive. Um, yeah, I mean, I was up, in, yeah, you know, in there, in there with Susan, just uh, in a dark room with a microphone, playing gorilla uh, for countless hours. Ellen would appreciate that. She right? would. That's right, because she has the campus in Rwanda. Yes. Wow. Yeah. God, that could be great. I wonder. What do you mean you're in a dark room grunting with my wife? Ooh. She does have a bit of a, a crush on you, in a nice way, in, in a, a producer nice, way. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. I'll take that. Okay. a bigger crush on you. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see yeah. how this hosting gig goes. Well, um, I have a big crush on you. Thank you for everything you've done for film and cinema, all of, of these roles uh, from, you know, Chaplin to Doolittle Now, Iron Man, everything. <laughs> Well, everything that you've done has not only been something that uh, we as, as actors look up to and admire, but you've taken so many of us under your wing, and I am so appreciative. Oh, dude, thank you. Thank you. All right. When we come back, Rami and I are going to play a little game. Ooh.